In this tutorial, I'm going to do a more complicated differential equation, one that involves trig integration. So part one, it asks us to find the general solution of the differential equation, sec squared y, and it's always good practice to copy out the initial equation that we're given over cos squared of 2x dy by dx equals 2. Now, as with all these differential equations, the first thing we're going to have to do is split up the dy and the dx. There are a few other methods of doing this, but I think that this one's the easiest. So we're going to do this by multiplying by dx. So copying it out again, or rather going to the next line, sec squared y over cos squared of 2x dy, remember we've times by dx, which takes the dx to the other side, equals 2 dx. So the top line implies that. Next line. So what I'm going to do now, the dy needs to be on the same side as all the y's, and the dx needs to be on the same side as all the x's in order for us to be able to integrate properly. So I'm going to multiply by cos squared of 2x to get it on the same side as the dx. So sec squared y dy equals 2 cos squared of 2x dx. And now we're ready to integrate. Because the y's are on the same side as the dy, we're able to integrate that left-hand side with respect to y. Because the x's are on the same side as the dx, we're able to integrate that right-hand side with respect to x. So I'm going to split this question into two parts. I'm going to deal with the left-hand side first. LHS, left-hand side, equals, well, the integral of sec squared y, you should know that the integral of sec squared of something is tan of that thing. Uh, if not, it's in the formula book. So the integral of sec squared y dy is tan y. So that's the left-hand side done. There should be a plus c there, but we'll deal with that in a little while. The right-hand side equals, well, that's a little bit more complicated because to integrate a cos squared function is slightly more complicated. So what you need to do, if you don't know how to integrate cos squared function, we've done a, I've done a tutorial on that. Um, it's called integrating sine squared and cos squared functions so have a look at that if you don't know otherwise we'll continue so in order so as not to break the flow of the working that i'm doing what i'm going to do is a little bit of side working here put a little star and that draws the marker's attention to where we're going to get the answer to this from so in order to integrate cos squared of something we need to expand cos of double whatever the what the angle was so the angle was 2x, so we're going to expand cos of 4x. Now you should just know from your trig identities that that's 2 cos squared of 2x minus 1. If not, have a look at the tutorial video that I did on this. And rearranging this, we get 2 cos squared of 2x equals cos of 4x plus 1. And notice that the left hand side which was what we originally asked to integrate, this here, and we've turned it into something equivalent that we can integrate. So instead of integrating cos squared of uh, 2 cos squared of 2x, we'll integrate this here, which is much more helpful. So the right hand side is the integral of 2 cos squared of 2x dx which is equal to the integral of cos of 4x plus 1 which is equal to a quarter sine of 4x plus x again there's a plus c but we'll deal with that in just a second therefore putting the two sides together the left hand side which is tan y equals the right hand side plus c. Now strictly speaking there should be a plus c on the left hand side as well but it's dead easy to take that over to the right hand side and just gather them all with one constant so that's why we've only put a plus c on the right hand side and that's perfectly acceptable to do. So that's part one done. We've solved the differential equation, we've found the general solution uh, and by general solution it means it had a plus c in it. Uh, part two, 
which I'm going to do here, asks us to find a particular solution for which y equals a quarter pi, or pi over 4, as I prefer to write it, when x equals 0. So we're going to use those particular values to find out what the plus c is. So let's go. So subbing it in, tan of pi over 4 equals a quarter sine of 4 lots of 0 plus 0 plus c. Then getting the calculator, pop them in the calculator, we'll see that tan of pi over 4 is equal to 0.0137. So the mistake I've made there, the calculator is in degrees mode, it should be in radians, so I'll go and change that. I change that by pressing shift, then the mode, the menu or setup button, and change the angle unit, which is option two, into radians. So all I need to do is press equals again, and I should end up with a nicer number, which I do. Which means that one equals, well that's zero, that's zero, so one is C. Okay, so I'm just going to make this clearer by putting a dividing line down here so the working doesn't get muddled. So now I have that tan of y equals a quarter sine of 4x plus x plus the c, which was 1. So the next part of this question is asked me to find the value of y when x is a sixth pi. Okay, so I'm going to let x equals a sixth pi. And that means that tan of y equals a quarter sine of 4 times pi over 6 plus pi over 6 plus 1, which means that tan y equals, so type that in the calculator again, so a quarter sine of 4 pi over 6 plus pi over 6 plus 1. And notice the question hasn't asked us for an exact answer, therefore rounding is okay here. And typically three significant figures is what's acceptable. So tan y equals 1.740105. So y equals the inverse or the arc tan of that. So the inverse tan of that answer is equal to 1.05 to three significant figures. And we're done. So quite a complicated question there. So for more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.